What is up everybody, Orai here, and we are checking out a brand new game called Moods. This is a action roguelike game where you play as robots who take over different moods. You have joy, anger, all of that stuff, uh, kind of like Inside Out. The embargo has officially ended today, so any content you saw before this, they are official embargo breakers. Shame on them. Uh, the game is out on July 29th though, so I did get a little bit early access to this game. There's a little bit of jank to it, as you can see. There's some weird camera issues when you're running around. Uh, your character kind of gets this little stutter. I don't know what you want to call it, like, like a little shadow. The camera is a little iffy, but I think if they can get through some of this, the game will be relatively decent. This is an early access game, so there's still a lot of time to fix it. I think the premise is here, though. I think the game is relatively cool. I think there's a lot of really cool customization, as you'll see when we play the game. But let's go over some of the classes. We have the Gleeful Gunner, uh, and each of them has their own different stats. They get dash points, speed, health, and then different armors. Uh, and then they all get their own ability. So this character is going to do a turret, uh, the Pride Knight is going to be focused on retaliation and they're going to get a shield the angry emotion is going to be a high mobility character and they're going to have a raging rush like a, a oh they get a unlimited ammo and deactivate weapon heat so interesting then we have the sorrowful mourner uh they spawn a mechanical dog that is going to draw attention of enemies and then the last class is the Lethal Lover, and they shoot a piercing arrow that deals damage, uh, deals no damage, but charms enemies. So we're going to try out the Gleeful Gunner today. So we're going to be able to drop down a turret, and it's going to help us kill things. And let's jump into the game. So this is going to be, see, it, it is it is a little jank. This is going to be kind of your world map. This is how you're going to move through the game. You're going to pick an area that is available to you. So right now we had an add-in crate and then we have a weapon crate. And then we're gonna move through these tiles until we get to the middle and then that's how you're gonna win. I've never actually made it to the mid middle. I haven't played enough yet to do that. So there's still a lot to, a lot for me to see and explore in this game. Let's do the weapon crate though. So this character is gonna start off with like a sniper rifle. Let's open our first one. And then this is where all the customization comes in. You can see we get five slots for this gun to customize it. We're going to be able to get a second gun too, which we'll be able to customize. I like how the robot follows me around. That's actually kind of interesting. Uh, so let's see. Projectiles with extra bullets may spawn them twice. Projectiles have a chance to form a black hole, attracting enemies and projectiles alike. And then this one, the last one is going to be projectiles have a chance to inflict enemies with wind blight, sending out wind blades with each hit taken. These ones actually sound cool. Let's do the black hole. So now this weapon's going to have a black hole. So now we have a chance to summon a black hole when we sh when we hit enemies. This game does suffer or this gun suffers from accuracy. <laughs> so I do want to I do want to replace this gun. Um, if you move around, uh, you can see the, the reticule gets a lot bigger. But if you hold still, it does narrow down. So you're not really supposed to move too much with this sniper. Let's actually make sure we're forgetting remembering to summon our turret too. All right, so you can see there's a world map over here, too with a bunch of different pathways we can go to. Let's go check out this little room first. Okay, so this is gonna be our weapon crate. Uh, let's see, we get an arc blaster, short range blaster that swiftly decimates anyone who comes too close. Uh, expansion rifle, a rather simple rifle built specifically to hold numerous add-ons. Oh, does that mean, oh, it gets nine add-ons. I didn't even realize each weapon was gonna have a different amount. So this one gets six, nine. Then six, a factory standard machine gun capable of firing many small bullets at a high rate. Uh, let's go with this guy. Let's go with more of a, a short range. So we can switch guns now so we can run two guns now. All right. Okay, let's go check up here.
I do like being able to switch guns. I think that's... Again, that's part of the customization of this game that I enjoy. I like having multiple guns that I can switch between. I can switch between a sniper, a shotgun, whatever, whatever guns I have. Whatever combo you decide to go with. I like that kind of stuff. And that's where I think this game has potential. Okay, so we have three doors up here. Let's go... Okay, so that's going to be the in map. We're not going to do that yet. Let's drop our turret. There's more customization too, which we'll see here somewhat soon. As soon as we level up, I'll, I'll show you that. Okay, there's some more scrap. Okay, so I think that's it for this first level. Okay, so what do we want next? Armor, repair booth, or an add-in crate? Let's go with a armor crate. Let's go check out this room. Oh, interesting. It's all gonna blow up. This is basically just free scrap for us. Okay, we have, this is a shop. Uh, I don't think we have a lot of gold. Does it show us anywhere how much gold we have here? Oh, he got mad. Excuse me, but you seem to have accidentally fired your gun right into my wares. <laughs> Please be a bit more careful. Oh, he, I would, oh, he's not going to let me do that because that's, those are scrap crates. So I want to open those. Hi, Vandal. I have fewer wares this time, but you already knew that, didn't you? What do you need? Uh, let's see. What does he have? He has no wares. Oh, you have some armors. Uh, but I can't afford anything. I have 71 gold, it looks like. 71 scrap. I can't afford anything. What else is this? Um, error. Skill level too high. Healing not... Oh. So that's healing. What is this going to do? Not enough health points. What does this do? Oh, this is... Sh sh I think it transfers... I think it transfers health to shield. Okay, so we can't even do anything in that one. The reloading is interesting too. If it reloads, or is that just overheating? I'm so confused how this works. No, okay. It is an active reload. Yeah, so this should be my armor. Yeah, armor parts. Armor will mainly improve your shield and health capacities, but they also come with an inherent feature that can have varying effects. Inspect your inventory by pressing I. Okay, so this is going to give me an extra dash point and then shield value, first shield value, explosion resistance, extra first shield, and then elemental resistance. Let's do extra first shield. So does that mean I'm going to get three shields now? So yes, so now I have three shields. I have a six, 12, and a 12. Okay. Oh, hello. Well, hello there. I never even asked for it, but you brought my precious watering can back to me. Thank you so much. Did I pick up a watering can? Gardening is the only joy I have left, but these night bullies get in my way and mock me relentlessly. I wish I could leave. There is a refuge on the back of a giant recycle mech? That sounds wonderful. Finally a chance to practice my gardening skills in peace. Okay, so we completed some quests. I didn't even realize we we picked up a watering watering uh, can. Okay, let's go to the next room.
Oh, that guy busted out his shield. Right as I shot him, smart guy. So let's, we got the active reload down now. Okay, let's go check out this room. Oh, did, <laughs> did that really reflect and hurt me? That was pretty funny i was not expecting that what is that boss room discovered did, oh did we level up did it not tell me i leveled up because i was waiting for this uh so here's the level up screen which is pretty cool because every every character is going to have a level up screen so as you level up you get to pick things to to make your character stronger you know like a level like a level up screen uh so this one is going to be fire rate and bullet size are increased the longer your turret is active cool killing an enemy prolongs the active skill duration of your turret okay and then shots may hit other enemies as well so ricochet but then you can see we're kind of committed to a tree as we move down i like the idea of one of my turrets fire rate and bullet size are increased the longer your turret is active But I like this one too, just keeping my turret at let's do this one. Let's go with the turret. Okay, so how do I get this? E to confirm. Okay, so we lost, we don't have any more skill points now. So your turret, the next level ups are gonna be your turret turret gets a custom suit of add-ins. And then your turret is augmented with additional weapon. Ooh, those, that sounds actually pretty cool. See, this is this is what I'm talking this is what I was trying to say. The game may have a, a little bit of a jank gameplay to it, a little bit. Uh, and some of the graphical glitches kind of need to be worked on, but the customization stuff is there. It really is. That's that's the kind of stuff I want to see in these roguelikes is customization for these weapons, for my abilities, for all that kind of stuff. That's what I want to see when I play these games. Okay, so this is interesting too. So you have these boss fights and they'll... You can... <laughs> This is kind of what's cool. You can respond to them and they're either going to become harder or easier based on how you respond. So let's see. I was wondering when you come back, let us have another bout. And then you can say, I was going to suggest the same thing. I do enjoy knocking you around, so let's not waste time. I was afraid you were going to suggest that. Can we just not? Or you could say, eh. Or you could say, you call it a bout. I call it an insult to my bullets. Hold still. This will be over quickly. Let's do this one. There is there is great difference between pride and arrogance. May these flames teach it to you. Uh, so let's see. Valerie inflames her bullets, so they teach you humility. So she's going to shoot out fire bullets now, it sounds like. Is that what's happening? Oh, yeah. Those are fire bullets. I think that's what's different. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, well, I'm not going to really run the sniper here because I don't think I don't think our accuracy is that good. Let's see. Oh, it's not bad. He's a big target. I can't even do my turret, though, because we're not building up energy. The energy stuff's kind of a bummer. How am I supposed to use my abilities if I can't earn energy during a boss fight? Okay, first boss down. Oh, yeah, th there we go. There's there's my energy. Now I can do it. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's open up our chest. Okay, so... 
We can do it, all explosives caused by the player have a chance to become nuke. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. All explosions cause none of these guns do explosions, but I wonder if that counts as um, you know when we hit when we hit the other the the barrels or anything. I doubt it though. Critical hits always cause an explosion. Um. I really like this one, but I think that means that I have to do the explosions. Projectiles can temporarily turn off enemy add-ins and deal more damage against champions. Let's go with this one. Let's put it on this weapon. No, let's put it on this one. The sound is off. Um, let's Yeah, let's turn the music up a little bit. Because the music is super, the music is super low, but the rest of the game, the the gun and the guns and stuff are way louder. Okay, we don't have a level up yet, so let's go to the next area. Okay, so now we can do a repair booth at the start of this arena. A booth that fully heals you can be found. An add-in crate, and those are our only options. Let's do the add-in crate. No, you're not going to let me enter that one? Can I not enter this one? Can I? There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't switching. I don't know if it was delayed or something. I don't know. So which one did I pick? Did I pick the one where we kill enemies? I extend my duration. Oh, well, we could just go to the next world if we wanted to. Uh, no real point in doing that, though, I guess. Um kind of lose out on a lot of experience and all that. This gun's not bad. I don't like the accuracy on this thing, though. I never like holding still in these type of games. Literally just walked right into that. I saw it coming at me and I didn't even move. That was actually a longer fight. Okay, what was in this room? Oh, that's the one we came from. Where is it? It's not. A capacity infuser. A capacity infuser can upgrade weapons, add-ins, or armor parts. The cost... This costs gear scrap at the price... And the price is dependent on the item level. Capacity infusers always appear one floor after a boss. Okay, so let's see. What do we do here? Oh, so we can just level up our weapons. Um... Have we even noticed the black hole? Let's go with... Yeah, let's just upgrade our weapon. Oh, cost. So, okay, okay, we did upgrade that. Yeah, so we did have enough money, so now that's level 2. For some reason, I was thinking it was free, even though it literally says cost right there. So here's our weapon. Um, 
Add, choose an oh an add in. Sorry, add in, not a weapon. Uh, projectiles have a chance to divide into extra bullets upon impact. That could be pretty good for this one. Projectiles pierce through enemies and deal increased damage with each puncture. Again, that could be good for this one. Projectiles have a chance to drop an exploding bomb while traveling. Again, that could be good for this one. All three of these are good for this one. Because obviously, the more bullets you fire, the higher chance. The more we're going to be doing. So actually, I think I actually want to do this bomb. I think the bomb is going to work good for this one. So let's do the bomb to our, our Wrath Repeater. Because that's not... That's not going to really rely on anything other than just shooting. Other than just shooting bullets, it's going to have a chance to drop. Okay, so what are our choices here? Repair or armor? Let's do the armor. Okay, see that time it seemed to do it right. Oh, we still got one more. I thought we cleared that. Okay, so we have a couple choices here. I mean, I'm I'm always going to be the type of... Ooh, what is this? Okay, so this is the shop again. Ah, customer. And emotionally stable one as well. Perfect. Have a gander at my items? Sure, let's see what you have. Man, we can never afford anything. Well, I guess we did buy that weapon upgrade. Projectiles have a chance to spawn a cloud... That hits enemies standing under it with lightning. See, this is these are these are so cool. I can't afford this. Man, I'm one. I'm one scrap short. I'm one scrap short. What is this? Gamble. Oh, I can't. Why can't I see what it is though? You won. Claim your prize. Oh, awesome. Or recycled. Do they cost? Do they all recycle for the same? Um, I think I'm just going to recycle these. Choose a weapon or recycle. How do I recycle it? Oh, hold to recycle. Wait, no. I want to... Oh, no! <laughs> Come on! This freaking game. Now I just got rid of my sniper. I did not mean to do that. I was clicking on that to ensure that that was what we were going to recycle. Now we're running a different gun. At least, um, oh my gosh, we lost all our attachments to it, too. No, we didn't. Okay. Luckily, they just go right there. Okay, we have a level up, too, again, huh? <laughs> Man, I did not mean to do that. Okay, the turret is augmented. We're going to do this one. The turret is augmented with additional weapons. That sounds cool. Okay, let's go. I'm tired of this place. Um... I'm missing all my shield. I wonder if there's a place to regenerate my shields. All right. So now we're going to get pants or arms. Reinforced bracers. Uh, first shield value plus three. And then reload speed. I'm not going to do this because we already have one of those. So let's get it something new. Shield value to all blocks plus two. Let's do that one. So these are all going to be plus two now, I think, but I need to figure out how to recharge my shield then, don't I? Hopefully this gun's good. I mean, it's not that I was a big fan of that sniper anyways. So maybe this was for the best secretly. Oh, gosh.
Yeah, this gun's actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm actually, I'm secretly, uh, well, I guess I shouldn't even say secretly. I'm just, I'm happy that we switched it. That was, that was a good mistake, a good mistake to make. This gun's actually pretty cool. Okay, so boss room discovered. Um, I don't want to do the boss room. Let's go check out all the question mark rooms. No, oh my gosh, I got stuck on that garden area. So we got quite a few more rooms to explore. Jeez, I did not. I don't know why I was not paying any attention to any of those bombs that they just dropped right on my feet. I was so busy looking at where I was aiming and shooting. So I just ate up a lot of damage there. Uh, I think we can heal, right? Did it not say if it costed money or not? Can I only, can I not heal again? They took some scrap. No, that was my black hole. I was wondering what that was. Okay, it's just one more room, and then we have another boss fight. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this boss fight, though. Health-wise, I'm not looking too pretty. Wait, is that my... No, what is, what is that? I don't know what that is. We need to... I need to heal really bad. And I don't think I can go back to that room and heal, huh? Let's get a little bit more... See if we can get some more scrap. So there's no way to heal again, huh? Oh, let's gamble again. You lose. I wish you could see it. I wish you could actually see what was happening, you know? Show a big show a bigger screen. Then what was in here? Nothing. Nothing for me in there. See, it has this icon. I guess that just means a treasure chest room. Alright, well, let's go do the boss fight and see how this goes. I do have a level up. Let's level up. Um... Let's see. We can go with the lower ones again. What is this going to do? Killing an enemy prolongs the active skill duration of your turret. Can I not afford this, though? How much does it cost? So I think this one costs two. So I can't afford that. Hmm. Well, we should buy something. Just just because I'm on the verge of death. So I should spend my resources to give me the best chance to win this fight. So let's do that. Oh, look at you. You're something, huh? Duke Leotron the Loyalist. Thou stand'st before Leotron, the Duke of Glory. Thine stops here, fiendish intruder. So I'm going to see if there's anything that answers him with honor and of course this guy uses multiple weapons and it's twice my size sounds fair no that makes us sound like we're a complainer haha <laughs> are you are there actual screws in your 
Are there actual screws in your oh in your beard? You're the silliest mech I've met so far. My dirty foot is more peerless in comparison to you. Surrender immediately or face utter humiliation. See, this one sounds like a, a valiant response. Your words wound me deeply, Leotron. Can't you see I mean no harm? Oh man, so one of these ones. So thou stands before me, fiendish intruder. Let's go with I mean no harm. What bold face lies thou spallest? Thine streak of felling my footman must come to an end. So he prepares to blow me to bits. Uh, I don't know if that means anything. Oh, great. Do I need to destroy these? Pretty sure we're donezo here. 11 health. Unless, whoa! I got hit by a stray bullet somewhere. Ugh, rooms cleared. 30 damage taken, a lot. Disassembled by yourself? <laughs> what? <laughs> Disassembled in the Empire Pride? I have no idea what any of that means. Quest complete, the gardener's plea. All right, let's return to base and see what happens. See if anything else new unlocks or what. No. Oh, no, there is something new. See, there's something new up here. Let's go talk to you. Oh, it's you, the friendly helper. How did I manage to get here? This old mech still has some tricks, you know. This dusty place is in dire need of some plant life. I'll get to it right away. In the meantime, I actually know a fair bit about enhancing mechs. Would you have guessed that? I can make minor augments to your system if you wish and pay. Take a look. Okay, so here's some meta progression. So we can get extra health, extra shield. Um, increases the total shield for all shields blocks. Increases movement speed. Heal yourself each time you use the STD, S, SDT unit. I don't know what the SDT unit is. Oh, maybe that's the middle thing, the the level selector. Or decreases the amount of experience needed to level up. So I would probably go with health, but I can't afford it. I only have six. I'm going to save up for the health. So there's that. But I, I thought we were... I was hoping we would unlock a new little area. And then what does this character have? Salutations, new recruit. My name is Ra. I am an expert at welding and smithing mechs and their parts. This is the first time someone gets sent into enemy territory, so I'm looking forward to doing some actual work. Once you've gathered some resources, feel free to pay me a visit. You better make it fast. I'm super bored. Sorry about that. I have a little anger in me still, but I have it under control, mostly. Ready to do some work. You better have something for me to do. All right. Uh, <laughs> so this one's going to unlock different weapons, it looks like. Uh, unlock a laser weapon, unlock a bullet spewing weapon, unlock a new add-in, another add-in, more add-ins. So some new add-ins, weapons, and armor parts, okay. And then let's go check out this last guy over here. Tell me something, oh, I don't think this guy, yeah, this guy just, that guy doesn't do anything for us. Oh, we have quests. Oh, well, I just clicked it away. I have no idea. See, this, I think, is the SDT, I assume. Oh, the camera. That kills me. All right. Well, there we go. That is going to be it for Moods. Uh, early access game out July 29th. I did get early access, so the game is not quite out yet. But if you liked what you saw, feel free to wishlist the game. I think it's okay. I, I, do, I do see a lot uh, a good amount of improvements this game needs uh particularly the camera look i didn't even hit anything i literally have my hands off the keyboard and mouse and it still still do, still does that uh particularly the camera i think some of the impact i think some of the impact 
uh you know the bullet sounds some of that could be adjusted a little bit but oh my gosh i don't know why it does that but the positives about this game are the customizations are really cool i love games that offer where i can augment my weapons and things like that in the middle of a run i think that's great i like the level up. i really 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 like the level up system while we're playing the game i think that's incredibly cool too i think that's gonna lead to a lot of fun unique builds like you saw we went for kind of a turret build and even though we didn't make it that far that's something that will you'll eventually get better at you'll make it deeper into runs so things like that are really cool but that's going to be it for moods thank you so much for watching if you enjoy this video please like subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day